The deep inside a forest, there was a pond. Many fishes, crabs, and frogs lived in the pond. Theirs was a happy and peaceful life. Among them lived two beautiful fishes named Sahasrabuti and Shadabuti. They were bigger than the other fishes in the pond. But one day, two fishermen returning from the river in the forest, after fishing, came across the pond. It was late in the evening, and as usual, all the fishes and frogs were at play. Sahasrabuti, Shadabuti. Ekabuti and many others joined the game. They leaped high into the air and chased each other. Seeing the beautiful scene, the fishermen were amazed and stopped in their tracks. How beautiful they look! Said one fisherman. Yes, and so many of them too. Replied the other. The pond does not look very deep. Said the first fisherman. Let us catch some of them. It is already very late, and we have a heavy load to carry a long way. Let's come back tomorrow," suggested the other fisherman. Ekabuti turned to the others in the pond and said, "Did you not hear what the fisherman said? We must leave this pond for a safer place. Just because two fishermen said they would come back to catch us tomorrow." You want us to leave our home and flee? For all we know, they might not come back," said Sahasrabuti. "Even if they come back to catch us, I know a thousand tricks to get away, and even if your thousand ways fail, I know another hundred ways to escape," said Shadabuti. "We will not let two fishermen scare us away from our me." All the others in the pond agreed with them. Well, I know only one trick," said Ekabuti. "To leave the place before danger strikes." Ekabuti and his wife left the pond in search of a safer place. All the fishes, crabs, and frogs laughed at them as they left. The next day, the fishermen returned to the pond and cast their net. Ouch! This net is too thick for me to bite through," cried Sahasrabuti. "For me too," cried Shadabuti. "Only if I could get out, I could do something." We should have listened to Ekabuti," cried a fish. "Now we are all doomed." The fishermen caught them all and put all the fishes, frogs, and crabs into a big basket and tucked them away. Ekabuti. Hiding behind the boulder, was his wife turned to her and said, "If I had not acted in time, we would also be in that basket with the others." 